I'm Lou Kozloff, uh, undergraduate class of 1965 here at Penn and medical school class of 1969. I'm currently the uh, co-chairman of the Medical Alumni Advisory Council and uh, I've tried to remain as active as possible in the medical community. I'm also a former Penn athlete, so I've been badgered by my brother-in-law, who's the athletic director, to stop misdirecting my philanthropy to the medical school and send it elsewhere on, on occasion. Well, I have Penn roots. My, my dad was here. Uh, he was an uh, undergraduate class of 1935, medical school class of 1940, and needless to say, very, a very loyal alumnus. My uh, brother and sister came here as well. It was really an easy choice for me to come here as an undergraduate, and I always wanted to be a doctor. There was, except for a few excursions into wanting to be a cowboy or an astronaut, I was pretty much always bent on going into medicine. So I came here as an undergraduate, and uh, when I finished, I uh, had to choose a medical school, and I think the question shouldn't be, why did I go to Penn Medical School, but why wouldn't I go to Penn Medical School? I, it was a, the most obvious choice, a wonderful place, and I've never come close to regretting anything related to that decision. Why do I volunteer for the School of Medicine? Well. I've thought about that, and I, I, I believe the, the, the two attributes that uh, really drive me for that are, are loyalty. I'm, in, I'm of nature a very loyal person to people and institutions whom I think deserve my loyalty. And the other is pride. Uh, I'm very proud of having attended this medical school. Uh, I like the fact that when people ask me where I went to medical school, I can say the University of Pennsylvania, and uh, frankly, they are usually impressed or happy to hear that, especially my patients. Uh, and as has been repeated by countless others, uh, I firmly believe the school gave me than I gave me more than I can give them. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to pay back. I suspect I'll always be behind but uh, I will keep trying. Why I support the School of Medicine, why philanthropy is important, well, the very nature of the term philanthropy is, uh, is implicit. Uh, I, I, I love to uh, give back some of the things I've derived from the school. Uh, we've heard lots of lectures about how overwhelming the debt is that our students incur, so there's clearly a need to try to get them through that particular hurdle at that point in their lives. Uh, as I've said before, the, there's a clear-cut, huge uh, piece of uh, pride in this, as well as my own sense of loyalty to the school and the institution. The question is uh, what my time at Penn Medicine means to me. And frankly, I, I think the most important piece of what I took away from this school is uh, people. Uh, meeting the people in my class, my faculty, uh, my teachers, uh, and much of that continues to be very important to me uh, at this point. Uh, as an example, uh, years ago one of my cousins called me. She lives in San Francisco. She had a brand new uh, baby granddaughter who was born with a heart defect, and since I have apparently inherited the role as the medical consultant for my entire extended family. She was frantic and asked me what she could do about it. So I, the baby was born in Charlotte, North Carolina. I remembered that one of my classmates was, from, was practicing pediatrics in Charlotte. So I called and I spoke to him and, and asked him, what do you do down there with babies with heart problems? Do you have a good pediatric heart surgery group? Do you send them up to Chapel Hill? Do you send them to Duke? Uh, and he said, oh, no, we have a wonderful group here, and they, they have great results. And I said, great. I said, well, well, my cousin's grandchild has such an, I described the cardiac defect, and he paused on the other end of the line and said, wait a minute, that's my patient. So I was immediately um, excited about that. I thanked him, and I hung up, called my cousin, and said, you know what, don't worry, she's in good hands, she's being taken care of. And the point is, this was a fellow Penn graduate, I knew the baby was going to be in good hands. 
And there's a tremendous amount of reassurance uh, when I deal with fellow Penn graduates, as, as uh, cocky as that may sound. But uh, knowing that uh, I had a compatriot there from this school uh, was tremendously reassuring to me, made both me, my cousin, and the, uh, and the other relatives happy. And I should add that the baby did well, and I believe she went to Penn eventually. I am extraordinarily proud of the Perelman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania, and I encourage you to donate graciously and as much as you can to help keep this medical school at the forefront of medicine in the entire world.